Hi everybody, I'm Matt Roy with Blue Ocean Benefits and Consulting, uh, also americasinsuranceguy.com. Today we're going to continue our series on self-funding. Our first video was called The Basics of Self-Funding. It was very basic. Um, we're going to use uh, a whole bunch of other videos to talk to you about the details of, of a self-funding plan. So in our first video we talked about there are four parts to a level funded and a self-funded plan, self and level funded plans. Um, there's the admin costs. The ISL, the ASL, and the claims. These are your fixed costs, and these are your variable costs. So what I'm going to do today is give you the actual numbers for a group of um, about 60, let's see, 26, 34, actually um, 60 people exactly. Um, uh, so you can see how these plans actually work. It's sort of a, uh, an interesting um, way to go. So on the admin costs, um, this is per month and per uh, employee. We, we, we have an admin cost on an actual group of uh, $24.37 for a single. Um, it's $51 for an employee and spouse. It's $46 for an employee with children and it's $73 for a family. So you can see if you're paying for premium right now, that's a heck of a lot less than you're paying now. So, But don't get too excited. There's more to that. That's just the admin cost. That should include broker commissions. It should include um, the 800 number, ID cards, claims adjudication, network rentals, anything like that. So, you know, a lot of, you know, big carriers are not renting their own networks. But so that's your cost on this particular group that we're talking about with 60 people that comes to $2,800 a month. Okay, so it's pretty low for that kind of, for that size group. Um, then there's the individual stop loss, which we talked about in the previous video. Uh, individual stop loss is insurance on each employee or member, each, actually each member of the family on each person. So in the example I gave in the last video, $30,000 stop loss means you as the employer are going to pay the first $30,000 in claims for a person, but the minute it goes over that, you have insurance for that, and that's this ISL. ISL is a lot more expensive. The ISL on this group that we're talking about is $152 for a single. It's $306 a month for an employee and spouse, $259 for an employee with children, and $418 for a family. That number, $418, is not claims. It's just insurance. It's just insurance. And on this group, that's about $16,500 a month. Okay? That's just insurance, $152 and $419, that you're buying to protect yourself from a claim over $30,000. You're still going to pay the small claims, but that's insurance alone. And that's where the risk is. If you look at this, you have people all the time say, why can't insurance be cheaper? Well, if an insurance company is saying you pay the first $30,000 and we're still going to charge you $152 to cover people over that, you can see the real risk is in the big claims. Um, so you got to pay an ISL. We're going to negotiate that separately. At least we are. Uh, and your, your consultant or broker should definitely be looking at these individual numbers and not just taking this as an overall increase. You should be looking at these numbers and deciding. We'll talk more about that later. Um, an aggregate stop loss is where all of your little claims can't add up to more than, or your, your exposure on the, on the claims, not just little claims, can't add up to more than a number. We will deter show you how to determine that number later. But that's a much lower number because it's much less likely to happen. You'd have to have a whole lot of people have a bad year. Uh, for a single, that's $20. For a family, it's $54. Uh, in between numbers, just to give them to you, you can run this video back if you're trying to write them down, $40 for an employee spouse and $34 for an employee with children. On this particular group, it comes to $2,100 a month. So the admin and the and the ASL together are only five grand a month for this group. Okay, you can see the real big number is the ISL at sixteen thousand. Now, if that were all, that would be great, but that's your fixed cost. Then you're going to pay your claims. Now, that that can vary. You got a good group. Um, the claims might be really low, um, but on a level funded plan, you're going to pay. A certain amount and on a, on a self-funded plan you're going to have a calculation where it says you won't pay more than a certain amount um, on both of them really that's true but so we come up with an aggregate what we call a monthly claims funding number um, that's on this particular group that's four hundred and forty two dollars for a single it's um, eight ninety three for an employee spouse it's seven fifty two for an employee with children and it's twelve hundred and twelve dollars for a family. The total on that, the maximum, is $47,800 a month. OK? 
Okay, now what does that mean? That means that the most you're going to pay on a family is 12 12 a month. The most you're going to pay on a single is 442 a month times 12 because it's an annual contract. So now that on one person you might spend more than 30,000 I said before. So that sounds like it's it's off. It doesn't sound right. If you had two people in a family both hit their 30,000 max, you'd say to me, "Well, I spent 60,000 on that person, not 1200." Well, 1200 is how you calculate your ASL, okay? So 1,200 times the number of families, 442 times the number of singles comes to 47,000. 47,000 times 12, your maximum claims, um, about 600 grand. Your maximum on this contract, because of your ASL, is $600,000, okay? So if you have claims of more than $600,000, then, you're, then the carrier is going to pick up those claims, okay? So this is not the actual claims. This is the number to pr provide a maximum claim, and that's what you pay the insurance company. So in this case, you're paying the insurance company this plus this plus this plus this every month. And if your claims are lower, then you're going to get a refund on this. If your claims are higher, then there's a mechanism for you to walk away without that. So you're going to pay this. It's the admin. You're going to pay these two things because they're reinsurance. On a level funded plan, you're gonna pay this and get a refund later if your claims are better than that. On a self-funded claim, you're gonna actually pay claims, but at, by the end of the year, they can't come to more than 600. So play this back if you didn't get that, and we'll talk some more about um, the different pieces, but essentially you've got your fixed costs, which you know what they'll be, and then your claims costs, which using this calculation of 442 and 1212, you get to a maximum number, and that provides you some security you know when you look at your numbers that your maximum is going to be no more than 12 times these numbers. And then you can compare that to a fully insured premium and see if it makes sense. So uh, watch some more of our videos. We'll get into more details about how each of these pieces work together. I'm Matt Roy from Blue Ocean Benefits and Consulting and America's Insurance Guy.